Hey everybody, so a whole bunch of you have said, Mrs. Bieber, I need a home fun help video today. Awesome, so glad to provide that for you. Um, one of the things that um, I'm seeing today is that we are using almost every skill that we have learned in the last several weeks um, and the last two years really together. We're doing distributed property, we're doing fractions, we're doing reciprocals, we are doing two forms of lines. It's craziness. We've got all sorts of stuff done. So um, let's just work through a couple of the problems together. Let's start at number eight. So I'm going to read the directions. Write an equation in slope intercept form with a line that passes through the given point that is parallel to the graph of the given equation. Okay, so here's number eight. Let's start there. So I'm going to look. First thing I do is find the slope. The slope is always attached to the x. There it is. Hmm. Well, uh, what, what number goes there? Yeah, 1. So the slope of my new line is going to be negative 1. Now, second step. I forget all about this y-intercept. I don't care about that because I'm writing a new line, so I just forget about this piece. That is not important. And then I have this point right here, so I'm going to write that down. 2 negative 2. So I've got a slope of negative 1. I've got um, a point of 2, negative 2. Now we have learned a whole bunch of equations for lines, three of them actually, and so we got to figure out, all right, here's what I have. Which one do I want to start with? I know that ultimately I have to get to slope-intercept form, but that's not where I start. I've got a point and a slope, so I'm going to start in point-slope form. So I'm going to write y minus my y1 equals my slope times x minus my x1. Now I go back in and I start subbing in here. So my slope is negative 1, so I write that right here. Then here's my x, here's my y. The x goes with the x. I don't change the sign at all. The y goes with the y since it's negative 2, negative 2. So my equation is y plus 2 equals negative 1 times the quantity of x minus 2. Am I done? No, I'm not because my ultimate goal was slope-intercept form. What that means is I have to get to y equals mx plus b. So I have to just get the y by itself. So here's my y. I want to get that all by itself. All right, if I do that, I'm going to draw down a line. I first do my distributive property. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. Negative 1 times minus 2 is positive 2. Over on this side, I just drop it down. y plus 2 equals negative 1x plus 2. Am I done? I'm not because I still have my y here. And I've got a plus 2 attached onto it. How do I undo that? Minus 2, minus 2. So my final equation comes out to be y equals negative 1x plus 0. Now if you were to look in the back of the book, they don't give you number 8, but if they were to, here's what the book would say. They would say y equals negative x. Does this match up with that? And the answer is yes. I don't technically have to write the 1, and I don't technically have to write the 0. So this right here, same thing. I for myself, generally prefer to do this because if I have to graph it, this is easier. But this is kind of the next step. Here's your final answer piece. So this part, really good. This part, awesome. Let's try another one. All right, number 10 says 2, negative 1, and my equation is y equals negative 3 halves plus 6. Do I care about that plus 6 at all? I don't. I just need to know this right here, my slope. So I'm going parallel again. What does that mean about my slope? Yeah, it means it's the same. So m equals negative 3 halves. And I don't care about this plus 6 because I'm writing a new line. This just tells me the old line, but it's not useful information. My point that they gave me is 2, negative 1. So now I look through, I've got a point, I've got a slope, so I plug it into point slope form. All right, now 
I start plugging stuff in. My slope is negative 3 halves. That goes right here. So negative 3 halves. My x goes with my x. My y goes with my y. And it's minus 1, which really makes it plus. Okay, if you just make it into a plus right away, that's really cool. Now, my ultimate goal is to get to slope-intercept form, which looks like this. How do I do that? I distribute first. Negative 3 halves times x is just negative 3 halves x. Negative 3 halves times negative 2. Negative 3 halves times negative 2 could be 2 over 1. Gives me positive 6 over 2. Can't leave it that way. Could have just simplified out right away. Gives me 3 over 1. So positive 3, negative 3, positive 3. So positive 3. And then I've got y plus 1 equals this stuff. Am I done? Oh no, I am not done. I've got to get the y by itself. So minus 1, minus 1. Drop down. y equals negative 3 halves x plus 2. Because 3 minus 1. There we go. All right, you had three of those to do, 8, 10, and 12. I've done 8 and 10 with you, 12. Oh gosh, 12 is a special case. It's just x equals. This right here is a hoi box. I want you to take a little time, figure that out, draw this line. Maybe if you draw it, you would see it. And this is going to be worth a bonus point. See what you can do with it.